officially October, which means we can do some really cool and scary designs for Halloween. Last year, I made a board for Ash and Kelly, and it was a Chucky theme skateboard. It turned out really well, honestly. I love the way it turned out. And this year, I'm gonna challenge to make five horror themed decks. Here's a picture of everybody that I'm gonna be doing, and then plus a bonus one that's the sixth board that I'm gonna try to attempt to do for October. There's a lot of boards I have to make, but today we're gonna be focusing on just one of those, and this is the board we're gonna be using. It's not prep 100%. I have some light sanding I have to do just to make sure the paint is gonna stick. So I think that's a good start, and that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video. Right off the bat, I'm gonna scuff up the board so the paint has something to grab onto. I started with 80 grit and then moved to 120, and what I should have done was start with 120 and gone up to 240 or something even finer just to help get out any deep scratches. After sanding the board, I got wax and grease remover to help clean the surface, and now it's time to lay some paint. This deck is actually going to be yellow, but I have to be kinda smart about how I wanna do this, so I start with black to lay the base foundation. While the paint dries, I go back inside and get the stencil cut out. Once the stencil is cut out and ready to go, I'll lay it exactly where I want it to go, and then it's time to spray the whole board yellow. While spraying the yellow, I actually ran out of paint, so I was worried I wouldn't get full coverage, but thankfully, I found another can and was able to finish it. I went ahead and let the deck dry for at least two days just because the paint was really sticky and I kind of regret using the Rust-Oleum yellow spray paint. I should have used the new Color Shop paint because the Rust-Oleum gave me a ton of issues. I'll talk about them later on. Once the deck was fully dry, I removed part of the stencil so I could spray white for the face and gray for the knife. Kind of a last minute idea I had and wanted to see how it would turn out, which in my opinion makes the board look even better. Let me know what you guys think. I was going to hand paint the white for the face, but ended up not liking the marks it was leaving, so I just used more Rust-Oleum spray paint. Again, not the best idea, but it, it did work. the final part, laying the Ghostface logo. Now originally I was going to paint this part black but completely forgot to do the stencil for it so I ended up using a sticker, laying clear coat on top of it, which by the way is a great way to have logos on your board without worrying about them coming off. At this point everything was looking phenomenal and I was very hesitant to spray clear because I didn't want any paint reactions. Well my fear kind of became a reality and that's exactly what happened, all by the Ghostface logo. This is why I don't recommend using the Rust-Oleum paint, it always has reactions. Every single time I've used it, it's always had some kind of reaction. And there's not much you can do to fix it unless you sand down the area, which, guess what? Yeah, that's, that's what I had to do. Yeah, definitely never using that paint again, and I'll only be using Color Shot. 10 out of 10, highly recommend, and it dries in like five minutes. The paint is definitely worth it. Here is, here is the finished look. Everything looks so much better down here. Before, there was so much paint reaction just all throughout. It was literally like cracking is what it looked like, and you can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see some of the imperfection there. All I did was just get sandpaper and sanded the whole area after masking everything. It was really, really difficult to mask all of this up again. So it's not perfect by any means, but hey, for the first attempt, it turned out really, really good. It's exactly how I envisioned it in my head, and even my reference photo that I have, it, it matches this pretty, pretty well, I'll be honest. So it looks great. This is the first horror deck. I still have, what, four more that I have to do for October, so stay tuned for those. Let me know who I should do next, and let me know what you think about this guy. Personally, I really like it. For the first one, I, I, I'm, you know, I learned a lot from it, I guess, and now I know not to use the same Rust-Oleum paint and only use Color Shot, which is this brand here, and that's the black that I used for that board. So, yeah, Color Shot's great. Everything else, not so much. So I need to go get a whole bunch more of the Color Shot stuff, and that way I can make the rest of the board. So. Yeah. Also, here's an update on another board I'm working on because that one frustrated me so much that I had to start something new. Yeah, stay tuned for this one. It will be finished in the next few days, hopefully, and I can catch back up on content. That was kind of the plan, and this board ruined it. It just ruined everything. It was difficult, frustrating, 
but also I, I really love how it turned out, so I'm not that upset. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little horror content that I'm trying to do, or the horror boards that I'm trying to do. Hopefully they all turn out better than that one, and that one's really not bad. Like, honestly, it looks really, really good. It feels really good. You're never gonna see it unless I pointed it out. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that the other ones do not give me as much issues or problems because it did take me an entire week just to make that board. Just letting it dry with the Rust-Oleum paint was difficult versus color shot. It literally dries in five minutes. I'm not kidding. That is how good the paint is. So I'm going to just continue to use that, get rid of all the Rust-Oleum stuff I have, which is an entire box full, which kind of sucks. I might still use something for something else or do graffiti somewhere. I don't really know, but the paint's trash and Nothing against them, it's just I'm not happy with it when it comes to doing the art stuff. So I've got to figure something out there. Uh, but let me know what you guys want to see next for the next horror board, or if you want to see the, you know, anime girl, which is from Fire Force, and that's actually really good anime, so if you haven't watched it, check it out for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's enough rambling and talking. It's time to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Uh, stay tuned for... Next month's giveaway? This month's giveaway? Maybe? Because it could be a horror deck. It could be. I don't know yet. I still have to figure that out. I'm really broke right now. But yeah, let me know what I should do because I don't know what I should do yet. Okay, anyway, that's it. Later, guys.